Coming up next, it's Soap Talk with Lisa Renna and Ty Treadway. On today's show, daytime legend Rick Springfield reveals the real reason he had to check back into General Hospital. And anyway, we got a great show. We got Rick Springfield on the show today. Huh? Rick Springfield. Yeah. It's my Rick Springfield air guitar. Rick I'm not nearly as cool, but I got the head bob going. It's my air guitar, man. My little rock star, Rick Springfield. Still no, my favorite air guitar song, Jesse's Girl. Always I know, love Rick. that song. I know. I know. Now, when did you guys first meet? Now, you met before. Uh, I did. Um, I met him. That's his new uh, CD, by the way. I we apologize. both were guest stars on this show called Robin's Hood. And uh, he, uh, I was coming to, I was coming to the set, he was already there, and he was naked in bed, and I go to the set, and I'm like, and they say, Nancy Lee Grand, this is Ring Springfield, I say, nice to meet you, I take off my robe, get in bed, and we make out. Really? <laughs> Where we do you get we those were shooting gigs, a man? Our sex video because we were it was part of the story. Oh, okay. So and uh, and I'm going to ask him about it. I want you to I want you to hear what he didn't remember. Did you already ask him about it when you saw him on GH? Uh, when he or? came on GH, he didn't know who the hell I was. And I was like, oh, my God. You know, he's a rock star. Painful. You know how many naked women that man's oh, seen in his life? He's a rock star. <laughs> who cares? He kissed me. That's what me. they do. Well, I don't want to be forgotten. No, he can't be unforgettable. Can't happen. Can't happen. It's true. So, we all man, let's bring out our first guest. <laughs> this man truly rocked the daytime world when he joined the cast of General Hospital over 25 years ago. But now the doctor is back. He's got a lot to prove. Let's take a look. I told you I'm clean. I'm sober now. For how long? One day at a time. Well, I'll give you that. You got the lingo memorized. Look, I know the only way to honor your mom is to go back to performing surgery again and maybe save some lives. I built a career in the shadow of your spectacular flame out. It wasn't easy, but I worked hard, and now I'm considered one of the best. I'm not gonna have you mess that up. I don't trust your sobriety, and I don't want you in my hospital. Please welcome back the one and the only Rick Springfield. <laughs> Field. So what do you have to say for yourself? <laughs> uh, I know Sherry Belafonte. <laughs> <laughs> I do, actually, know for quite a while. <laughs> Maybe you can get her to sign the picture that Nancy stole from That's the wall it. in the bathroom for us. I'll have to, I'll I have to retrieve it. I hear it's in Lake Michigan. It. Yeah. <laughs> so, Lake Michigan. I want to hear, hear about the first time you guys met. Do you remember that at all? Or? Yeah, I, I uh, was up in Vancouver, right? Yeah. That's yeah. all you remember, though, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. It was cold, right? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It was good. It was cold. <laughs> That is, that's okay. No, no, I My do feelings. remember getting, actually getting into bed with you. Sort of. Yeah. Sort of. Was it good for you? Yes, it was, actually. It was really good. And I called everyone I knew and told them I just made out with you, too. It was like... <laughs> that was a big time. I mean... It was a big deal. Big deal. It was fun up there. So, so now you're back on GH. What did you think when they first called? Um, I mean, it's been, what, 20... 20 23 years? years. Yeah, 23, 23 years. years. Yeah, it was... It was uh, I, it was odd. I kind of went, wow. I, you know, it was... Uh, but then I thought about it, and, and I was... had stopped touring for a while. We'd, we'd taken a break, you know, over the... over this... over winter. And, uh, it seemed like a really interesting challenge. You know, they were talking about what they were thinking of the character, would, how he would come back, and, and the baggage he would bring. And that was always, you know, the character before was really kind of Dr. Smoothie, you know? Yeah. And there was not, like, really a lot of stuff to play, but so... so, so the... All the baggage they were talking about was really interesting, and uh, and I just I thought the chance of going back 23 years later to play the same character I don't know where you get that chance exactly. ever again you know exactly. you don't because nothing ever stays no. on television no. as long except soaps and, yeah. and and you know ja Jackie who I did most of my scenes with Jackie Zeman 
you know, uh, real years have passed, and she's had kids, and I've had kids, like, on the show, and it's, 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 it's amazing. I mean, it's, it's going to be pretty interesting. Did you, would you think when you guys first hook up, I'm sure you probably had a ton to discuss, you and Jackie. Um, you live near each other, don't you? Yeah, yeah, we live in the same town, and we've done some, uh, some charity stuff together, but, oh, so uh, she, she's just a great person. I've always she thought she was one of the best. wonderful yeah. person. We love to do this occasionally. We love to show old clips. We, I believe we have an old clip of, uh, <laughs> we have an old clip of Bobby and Dr. Noah Drake, please. Can we show that? You do understand why I didn't want to stop by your place, don't you? I just wanted to further your art education. You know, I do have some of the world's best etchings. Mm -hmm. I just think it's a little too soon to further my education. I'm not complaining. You offered me a drink, I guess that means you like me a little. I think you know I do. A little. I like you more and more every time I see you. Drink to taking chances. Sure. Man! Did you remember that? No. <laughs> that chemistry just jumps off the screen now. My voice was higher. That's so bizarre to me. I mean, it it's only higher. 20 years ago, and I was already a man then, but it's, it That's seems higher to me. Mine's lower now, too. Like <laughs> yeah. uh, what was it like that first day, you know, back this time, after 23 years, to walk through that hall? What was your first day back like this time? I was pretty freaky, actually. It was a different building, so I didn't oh. have and much deja people. vu. A yeah. lot of different people. Deja vu. Deja vu. <laughs> Hello. Deja vu. But I went to... Uh, seeing Jackie again, was and, and Tony, and... Uh, and uh, you know, Stuart Damon. I mean, it was all that. That was the and, and doing this first scene with Jackie was that you know, was you, trippy. You, I was watching. You're smooth like butter. You just uh, if yeah, you, it was like you know, it was nothing. It's just yeah, there's, there's all, we have all the real backstory. There's nothing to kind of work on. You Do know, you know the, the writing you know. spiked when you came on? Yeah, yeah, and that's, that's there great. was more publicity. I heard they were tuning in to hear about the black paint. That's what I heard. What was with the black paint? Oh, uh, never Please trust. Tell us. Never trust directors. Uh, the first scene, I'm drunk in a bar and and passed out on the table, right? And my opening scene is uh, uh, Kimberly, you know, uh, uh, color. Yeah, dumps water all over me to wake me up. And, and you know, and I'm going, oh, okay, well, that's the first welcome back, you right, know? Right, right. Uh, Tough first and, scene. And, and um, unfortunately, they someone hadn't read the script and they painted the, the chair that I was sitting on with water soluble black paint. <laughs> so, so when she tipped the water on me, I, I, I like stumbled back and got up and, and, and started the scene and I brushed my hair away and I see my hand is like covered in black paint from the chair. And they just went right on. And I, yeah, and I, and I oh, said yeah. I said at the end of the scene, did you did you any of you guys see the black paint on my hand? And the director goes, No, we're above it. And of course it airs. It aired. Black and paint on black the hand. Paint. Yeah. Oh, it's, it's it's speed acting, Rick. <laughs> Good to know they got your back, huh? They don't yeah. stop for anything unless you swear. Exactly. That's what you got to do. You got to come out with a string of swear words. Stop. That's yeah. the thing. Now you, you're you're uh, uh, drunk. You're drunk. I, <laughs> <you're hard. laughs> I thought we weren't going to get that personal. <laughs> well, yeah. you know what? It's very funny. I never promised that. I'm new here. <laughs> your character is your character is an alcoholic, and we were just talking about this backstage. Your character always seems to have a relapse when Rick needs to go back out on tour overseas. <laughs> yeah, I, I went I went to Japan uh, to do some shows, and then to Australia, and. Um, and they sent him into rehab, which was great. It was perfect timing for the show. You, you know? cannot leave because I have a mortgage, I have to pay for private school, and apparently you've got the ratings up, so you need to stay. Okay? Yeah, that's right. It's for selfish reasons. That's right. Oh. <laughs> uh oh, he lost his He took his shoes off. He's always undressing. Well, around you know what? Me. We're all going to kick our shoes off. We <laughs> might get naked, do that whole love scene thing again. We don't know. We'll let you know when we get back from a break. We'll go away. Coming up next, Rick reveals why he doesn't want his kids to follow in his footsteps. And We're back with Rick Springfield from General Hospital. All right, so now I understand that you need a liver. Your character, I mean. Yes. Yes, he does, actually. He's a... Uh... Whose and contract is up? Because that's where the liver's coming from. I'm trying to think. Whoever gets that and monkey virus. Whoever gets now with that. You're not yeah, infected, are you? No. No. Yes. Stay oh, away. I, it's bad. I got it bad. I got the monkey virus bad. Yeah. Do you I, have the monkey virus, I, I don't, virus know, I don't too? know what's aired yet. What's that? Do you, you don't have the monkey virus. No. no. Are you, I oh. have the bunny suit, so I'm safe. Oh, good. Nice. Okay. You've got the bunny suit. But you are at the hospital, so we may see some Dr. Noah and Bobby scenes coming up. We don't know. Yeah. Why yeah, do they always call you Dr. Noah Drake? That's what I, when I used to watch, I remember that. It's a cool name. That's one of the coolest names But it was never Noah or Dr. Drake. It's Dr. Noah Drake. Anyway. I want to talk about your first ever acting gig. What was your first ever acting gig? Do you remember? Oh, God, yeah, it was uh, 
six million dollar man back in 19, I don't know, 76 or something. Yeah. And, and, I, and I was, uh, I played the, they said, you know, I got the part, or, or before I got the part, they said it was about a roller derby, you know, gang or something. And they said, do you roller skate? And like all actors, I said, yeah. You know. <laughs> of course I do. Sure, I can roller skate. Backwards. I can learn between now and then. And, and so we got to, the, we got to the, the rink to start shooting on my first day, and, and I take off one roller skate so I can walk up the rink, because the rink's at an angle. And of course, I put the foot down with the skate still on, and it slides up, and I bring my hands up to protect myself, and the skate's in the other hand, and, and give myself a black eye. Oh, Whack myself so me. hard. And the director was so, so pissed at me. He, could, he said, I was, he was go totally going off at me, completely insane. So he had to shoot me from this side for the whole, whole of the shoot. I had this just giant shine. And you never me. worked again and became a failure. <laughs> Never yeah. worked on Six Million Dollar Man again, that's for sure. Speaking of being a, a huge success, uh, I, I am curious about what it's like to be a rock I've always wanted to be a rock star when that's clearly not going to happen. Everybody's one. I know. I know. The, and that's true. Is it like what we think it's like? I mean, is it... <laughs> yeah. What's the largest audience you've played to? Um, about 120, 130,000 in, in, wow. in Germany we played, and it was amazing. I mean, it's, there's nothing like that energy. It truly lifts you off the, off the stage. It's just, I can just, only imagine. It's when amazing. you walk out on that stage, what goes through your head when you're walking out and you see just this sea of humanity um, there to see you? Collectively just loving you. Yeah. Much, you know, if I don't get lucky tonight. <laughs> <laughs> So you, did you remember? Do you remember? Did you have groupies? And did you remember who they were? I remember. <laughs> I can't even remember us sleeping together. So I'm gonna... <laughs> no, I do. I how truly do. How do you come down at the end of the No, I totally. What? Okay. How do you come down at the end of, you know, 150,000 and then you got to go home and take the garbage out? And you know, like, you, how is that possible? It's two different lives. You know what I mean? Come back that? to reality. Yeah, 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 yeah. My friends who are musicians, and my good friend is married to one, and they, he's, He's, and, and I did some research on you, too. There's a quote where you say, I, I can whore myself a little bit as an actor, but never as a musician. And so, because you are, there's so much integrity and so much purity and concentration in it, do you sit and, with your guitar and just go off on your own and your wife is going, Rick, the kids need the, you um, know, food. And you're no, like... She's we, she understands when, like, mainly that happens when I'm writing songs. And when I'm writing, I, I just, I just... I veg, I completely am not, she calls right. it being out with the Falcons, and you know, I mean, I, she'll a ask questions and I won't answer. It's, it's just, it's just you, I'm completely focused internally when I write, and it, and it can go on for months, you know, when I'm writing something. And that's really my greatest thrill is to write music. That's what I love to do more than anything. And, and more so, so than even touring. Yeah, yeah. Just, uh, the nothing actual greater writing than, Nothing wor more, more horrible and, and, and more exciting than writing a song, because it can go the whole... You know, when it's not working, okay. it's the worst thing in the world. So then I it have, does. It's incredible. I have this. Um, and this I didn't is, write any of those. And that you didn't write them. <laughs> That's why I wanted to talk about that. These are cover songs. Yes. Yeah. And Kate and I were dancing to it last night, and it's really good. You can sing, my friend. Okay. I'm like, I was like, oh my god, and I kissed him. Woo! <laughs> uh, it's really, really good. I highly recommend this. These are songs from the '70s and '80s, and it is really good. And your voice is better now. It really is. It's just, it's oh, true. Okay. What ripens with age. I mean, it was great then, but it really, it really was good. And my little seven-year-old thought it was pretty fab. So, See, um, you're still hot with all the seven-year-olds, isn't that? Uh, you got that going for you. <laughs> Now, you also have a, a, a live DVD coming out as well? Yeah, yeah, we're just mixing that now, 5.1. It's going to come out on HD net, and, nice. then, and they'll be sold. But it's, uh, it's really a lot of fun. It's a, the, our live show is very, um, uh, very high energy and very audience involved. I, I go out into the audience, and sometimes I'll drag them up on stage. And it's a fun show, it really is. It's very It's everybody's very dream, boy, to, be, to, to live the dream that you're doing. Can I get uh, four VIP tickets to the Wiltern concert? VIP? For, Look at her already. For forgetting hot, my kiss. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I think we can see Okay, good. <laughs> Rick, thank you so much for joining us.